Well, Poppets, it's a little bit late, but Poppy's not tired, so I'm going to read another story. I still have Trippy on my lap. So this is the tale of Custard the Dragon, Ogden by Ogden Mash, and illustrated by Lynn Munsinger. The Tale of Custard the Dragon. Belinda lived in a little white house with a little black kitten and a little gray mouse and a little yellow dog and a little red wagon and a realio, trulio, little pet dragon. Now the name of the little black kitten was Ink and the little gray mouse, she called her Blink. And the little yellow dog was sharp as mustard. But the little dragon was a coward, and she called him Custard. See the little doggy scaring the dragon? <laughs> Custard the dragon had big sharp teeth and spikes on top of him and scales underneath. Mouth like a fireplace, a chimney for a nose, and a realio, trulio, daggers on his toes. Belinda was as brave as a bear, a barrel full of a barrel full of bears, and ink and blink, chase lions down the stairs. Mustard was as brave as a tiger in a rage, but Custard cried for a nice safe cage. <gasps> Belinda tickled him. She tickled him unmerciful. Ink, Blink, and Mustard, they rudely called him Percival. They all sat laughing in the little red wagon at the Rulio Trulio cowardly dragon. Belinda giggled till she shook the house, and Blink said, Reek, which is giggling for a mouse. Ink and Mustard rudely asked his age when Custard cried for a nice safe cage. <laughs> See the Custard's crying. Oh, poor Custard. Suddenly, they heard a nasty sound. And Muster growled, and they all looked around. Meow, cried Ink, and oof, cried Belinda. Oh, cried Belinda, for there was a pirate climbing in the window. A pistol in his left hand and a pistol in his right, and he held in his teeth a cutlass bright. His beard was black and one leg was wood. It was clear that the pirate meant no good. Belinda paled, and she cried, help, help, but Mustard fled with a terrified yelp. Ink trickled down to the bottom of the household, and little mouse blink strategically mousehold went to his household. But up jumped Custard, snorting like an engine and clashed his, his tail like irons in a dungeon. With a clatter and a clank and a jangling squirm, he went at the pirate like a robin at a worm. Look at Custard. The pirate gaped at Belinda's dragon and gulped some grog from his plocket from his pocket flagon. He fired two bullets, but they didn't hit, and Custard gobbled, gobbled him every bit. Yeah. 
Belinda embraced him, mustard licked him. No one mourned for his pirate victim. Ink and blink in glee did gyrate around the dragon that ate the pirate. But presently up spoke little dog Mustard. I have twice, I've been twice as as brave if I hadn't been flustered. And up spoke Ink, and up spoke Blink. We'd have been three times as brave, we think. And Custard said, I quite agree that everybody is braver than me. Belinda still lives in her little white house with her little black kitten and her little gray mouse and her little yellow dog and her little red wagon and her really truly little pet dragon. Belinda is brave as barrel full of bears and ink and blink chase lions down the stairs. And mustard is brave as a tiger in rage. But custard keeps crying for his nice safe cage. Even though he ate a pirate, he just wants a nice safe cage. A silly old dragon that custard is. And that's a tale of custard the dragon.